What a song to wake up to. Mmm. Good. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I just thought of something really nifty for those who don't like carrying wallets and everything like that, or purses, which is like me. Instead of having like a, a whole bunch of cards for things, we should eventually get barcodes on ourselves so that when we pay for things, we can just scan our barcode. Or when we go uh, places and you need to show ID, you can just scan your barcode. And then everything was just barcoded on us and no identity theft would happen except some crazy hacker would probably think of something and then our barcodes would be bad and then they'd hack us and take all our money. It'd be bad, but it'd be cool at the same time. No one's thinking this is as cool as me. Okay, whatever. I just, uh, I'm gonna go back into this little world that I'm in. This sleepy time world I've been in for the last hour. And, uh, appreciate all the crazy ideas that go through my head. Okay, bye. So, I got home. And as soon as I walked in the door, I had a shower because I felt like butt my gut. Then I walked over to my computer. Well, technically, no. I had a shower, got clothes on. Then I walked over to my computer and started a vlog TV show. And wow. Oh, yep, yeah, poop. Poop, 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 poop. Yep, yeah, that's all we talk about in here. Just so you know, that's all my vlog TV shows consist of. So if you ever come here, all you have to remember is all you need to say is poop because... That's all that goes on in here. Because girls poop like this much. Oh, gross. You guys are gross because that's disgusting. And we all agreed that girls don't poop, but now everyone agrees that they do. Ah, <sighs> whoops. I have this little thing I was just thinking about. Remember how I, in a lot of my vlogs, I was like, oh, I really wish that I had more friends to hang out with and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm actually having friends to hang out with now, but it's a problem to find the time to hang out with my friends and now I have a chance to either go to Taekwondo or hang out with some friends from work and I was thinking about it and I was like you know if I really want to pursue what I want to do with my life and my dream then I need to stick to it and I need to do as much training as possible and as much work as possible to get there and if that means that I can't hang out with my friends sometimes, that's what it means. That's sacrifices I have to make if it's stuff that I want to do. And I was thinking, you know, this is a good topic that I should tell other people because I'm not saying give up your friends. I'm not saying that at all. I just mean that, you know, I don't think my friends will honestly care if I come or not. It's not that big of a deal. But if your friends do care about you or something like that, they'll understand that you have other obligations. And I thought that was a really cool thing to have because I know my friends wouldn't get mad if I was like, yeah, I'm too tired because I'm going to be tired after Taekwondo. I'm tired right now. So just a cool thing that I really appreciate that I've developed here in Vancouver is friends that I can be like, you know what, I've got obligations. And they're like, you know what, that's cool. Do your thing. Where did this come from? I don't even know. I'm probably the weirdest person in the world. Check. You know I should do the whole think before you talk thing, but I'm in the moment and I really want to, I don't even know where to begin with this, I don't even know what's going through my mind, I don't even know why I'm sad about this, but I've been at this Taekwondo uh, place for about a month and a half, and I, I, I barely know anyone there, I can't even remember half of anyone's names there, but the instructor just announced that he was no longer going to be teaching and someone was going to be taking over for him. And I think, because it is named after the man who teaches it, so I assume that he's been teaching there for quite a while. And it was so sad just to be in the room when he was saying that he wasn't going to be teaching there anymore. I don't even know him that well. And I like almost started crying because I felt so bad for everyone else. I'm so sad that everyone has to let go of their friend. I know I was talking about friends earlier, this is weird, but like, he's their instructor, but if you've been there for years being taught by someone, that's just so sad. And I can't handle it. I don't know why I feel this way, but it's making me upset and I wanted to address the fact and that now I have no point to this entire spiel, but it's just something that's going on in my life and it's weird. I don't, I really like the other instructor though. He's very, very nice. Um, he's very driven and he seems like he'll probably push me to my limits. As much as it scares me to be pushed to my limits, I'm 
excited because it's going to get me to that next level. And I'm happy for that, but I just hope everyone else is going to be okay. Maybe I should just go in there one day and sing, if it's not alright, then it's not the ending. I feel better now because I had bubble tea, and I'm hanging out with Jasmine and AK. I, well, do you actually, wait, I didn't tell you guys this. Two things about these two people that are in my life have created for themselves. You have a vlogging channel now. I have a vlogging channel now. What? What is it? A Houdani. A H U D A N I. Put it right here. Yeah, I can Cross do. my face. I can do that. And yeah, come look. I did like a 10 day vlog and it's, it's fine. It is. It's like the best, right? <laughs> and then you started a blog. Yes, I did. Yes. And what is, what's the website you did it on? Uh, Blogspot. Blogspot? Sparkles and Cheesecake. Nice. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. I'm glad that there's uh, cool people like me. Wait, I'm not cool. So does that make you guys not cool? No one can be as cool as you. No, 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 no. Um, you are sadly mistaken. I'm pretty cool. <laughs> Don't know about you guys. You guys, but I... <laughs> Thank you for that. So, just hanging out because... I'm all jacked and stuff after Taekwondo, even though I, like, cried after Taekwondo. I didn't cry. I don't know if I'm supposed to address this or anything, but I got a couple at replies slash messages that were like, Oh, Cassandra, you're first on King of the Web and everything. And I was like, what? No, I'm not. And I went and checked, and I was in second place, and I was like, okay, I don't know why everyone was freaking out. Apparently, something happened with the first place person, and they were hacked or something and they had to like reset everything but it looked really bad on my part because I was in second place but any person that was in second place would have been blamed but everyone thinks I did it or like some people think I did it and I would just like to point out that I would not do that and if if I don't really think that any of you guys would do that but if it was you um be respectful of everyone. It's a it's a fair contest. People are voting. It's not cool to hack people. But yeah, I just thought I should address this so people aren't like, Cassandra, you're a hacker. Because you know I could use my nerdy stuff for hacking. I don't even know how to hack. I, I was hacked once. My money was taken away out of my bank account. I really don't appreciate people who hack. So... Let's not do that and not make me look like I'm the bad guy. <laughs> okay, thanks. I just thought I'd address that. So if any of people who are watching this thought that I was a hacker, hey, not a hacker, not smart enough to hack. All right, I'm glad we established this. I'm going to bed and I'm actually going to get sleep tonight because it's almost 1.30 in the morning and I might get eight hours of sleep. Wait, seven hours of sleep. Wait. Six hours of sleep. <laughs> good thing I can do math today. Alrighty then. Have yourselves a good night.